is going on today, guys? It is your boy, Woji, here, bringing you guys a new video. So today, uh, I'm just chilling in this parking lot of this, like, skate park in, uh, in my nearby town in Walden. But I want to bring you guys the post-Gary V event, like, video or my experience. Um, I wanted to get more into detail with this video, so I really hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, because my videos are lit and let's get it. You should go check out one of my other vlogs before this, which was I Met Gary V vlog. It was very dope meeting Gary. Um, I've recently been, you know, really taking his principles and putting them into effect in my own life. Um, and the one thing that he released was the book Crushing It. This book really influenced me to start my photography business, which I will be starting very soon. Mark my words, I'm not a talker, I'm a doer. Um, I just have to get all the legal stuff set up and like the taxes and all that kind of fun stuff. But, um, you know, basically the book is just so, oh, it's just so good. Like, I don't even know how to express it. There's just so much like content in the book and there's a lot to absorb, but it's so good if you guys are entrepreneurs, you guys are looking to start a business, maybe it's flipping stuff on like those apps, eBay, OfferUp, Amazon, you should really look at his book and understand the impact that the internet has made, for, especially for kids my age um, and even younger. You know, there's like 10 year old kids out there that have like millions of followers on Instagram because they're posting pictures of them like, you know, sleeping and like they're these little babies. There's a baby, um, if you guys don't know the Ace family, her name's L. Sorry, it's a little windy right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly, but Elle is a little baby. It's She's like the only daughter of the family, and they're actually expecting another kid, so congrats to Austin and Catherine on that. But basically, she's like, I don't know, I think she's one or two years old, and she's adorable. She has over like 1.5 million followers on Instagram just because her parents had a huge fan base, and now she's set, literally set for life. So when you really think about the power of social media, that's a great example. But basically, you know, I went to the event. It was in New Jersey at Wine Library. There were a bunch of people. Um, I saw a Instagram story that was posted by Team Gary V. Also, Gary V's Instagram. A thousand plus people showed up, according to um, Gary V's team. That is insane because on Facebook it said, you know, people, you know, you had to submit if you were going on Facebook, and it said it had like 608 people the day of the event. You know, to have a thousand plus people, and he had to go through all these people. And I was looking at his story, and he actually was doing you know, signings after the time was even given to us. He, it was from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. He was there after 12.30 still signing books and meeting people. So that just shows you the genuine personality that he has to take time out of his day to really, you know, meet with his fans because that's what made him get to where he is today, basically, uh, as far as his personal brand. But, you know, the other thing that I wanted to mention was it was a great business idea for Gary to set up that event at Wine Library because they were selling wine there at really cheap prices and they pretty much told you like oh yeah if you buy you know a bottle of wine Gary will sign it that's great marketing because people just want another signature they're gonna buy the bottle of wine either they drink it or they don't you know things like that and that was good for his father too because his dad owns wine library so that business collab that happened even though it was a free event they made a ton of money they also had books there if you want to buy a book for a friend you bought one you know just a great way to market your brand a great way to really understand business and that really opened up my eyes truly of what I can do and you know I met a lot of cool people there um, I met this older african-american woman and she was like on the cover of Avon which is like a beauty salon I don't know it's like a beauty magazine she was really nice um, she had a lot of genuine words for me as far as what I was gonna do with as far as the future of my life she had a, a, a lot of wise words for me um, also met uh, this ginger his name's ginger nomad on Instagram. He's a really good guy. Uh, he's a photographer He's from New York City, and I met I believe it was his girlfriend. She was very nice, too um, just a great group of people there especially people who have that winning mindset like me who really want to win in the game of life and really crush it on their passion um, You know the other thing that you know I enjoyed so much was the networking like I just said and I was able to actually, what I did was, you know, I, I culture hacked this event because when I got home, I posted the picture of me with Gary and then I posted the next day a video of me actually meeting him with the, with the handshake and everything. Very dope experience, but you know, I use that to my social media advantage. So what I did was I, I looked up all the hashtag posts on Gary V. So I looked up on Instagram and you go to the tags, tags tab. I looked up Gary V. I went to every single post that was on that Gary V on the most recent or top and just commented, I met Gary V yesterday. 
and they would click that, check out my profile, and be like, oh, dude, this kid's cool, man, he just made Gary V, and they were following me. I gained like over 100 followers in that one day. You know, that's the way that I thought of it. That was the best way for me to culture hack that whole situation because I figured, you know, there's a thousand people at this event. You know, people must be posting pictures on Instagram of them at this event. So I took advantage of that and culture hacked the fuck out of it. So, you know, you really have to just think outside the box as far as, you know, you're attending event, connect with people. And I'm actually kind of upset at the fact that I had a sweatshirt coming in the mail and it was going to have my Instagram and my at on it and it didn't come in time for the event. So I didn't get to wear it. And if I would have wore that at the event, I would have gotten a lot more than 100 followers. That was my other marketing piece. But I also met a lot of people who wanted to talk to me about photography because I saw that I had my Canon ADD. People want to talk to me. People were asking me about my Yeezys. They were like, oh, are they, are they really as comfortable as they look? I was like, yeah, dude, they're really comfortable. Like, I know they're expensive, but they're really worth it. Like, you can walk miles in these things and, like, nothing will happen to your feet. Like, right now I'm wearing them. Like, I can't feel shit on my foot. So... You know, other than that, though, it was a very great event. You know, me and Gary exchanged some words. I just told him, you know, he changed my life and really made me understand the value of time and just me being patient as fuck with what I'm doing. And I've just been fulfilled ever since. So I really hope you guys are following me on this journey. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, my photography business will be probably loading up very soon. So I hope you guys are staying tuned for that. Um, I will be making like a what do we do at Wojo Photography video, which I'm going to try to film actually right after this. And it's going to be basically like a little marketing video to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with my, with my photography business. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy that too. That will be on my website. If you do want photography done for you, please let me know. I'm very open. I don't charge a lot. I'm not like one of those people that think that they can charge like a dollar, $100 an hour. I'm very cheap. Um, if you live in this city, pretty much all I ask for you is to pay for my, you know, my, my train ticket and I'll come down there and I'll do stuff for free also. You know, I don't mind collabing with people on projects as long as I know it's going to be a long, long relationship. That's what I'm looking more long term. And that's what I want most of you to understand. Stop looking at the short term as the escape to, you know, reality. You know, everything that we do right now, everything that you're doing right now is all long term. I'm looking at this video. I'm looking at this camera right now. This is all long term. Stop thinking on the short term financial. Stop thinking short term. I don't know how many times I have to screen this. Think long term. I'm telling you it's going to save your life and change your life. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please smash the like button down below. Comment down below what you guys thought of it. And please subscribe if you're new. I'm really making some good quality content lately. I want you guys to be a part of the journey. And I really want to get to know you guys more. And also follow me on Instagram at Jason.Wojo. It will be down in the description down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.